Hi guys, this is Elias Kadri. Today we will learn the uh, solvent solvent selection. This is the one of the most uh, important thing to get a proper result of your simulation. The main objective of uh, solvent selection is uh, the solver should be able to solve your uh, simulation. Then it should give a proper accurate result. And third one is it should be quick. It should not take too much time. Now for this uh, solver selection, I have created a one simple flowchart. First, we will go through that. First thing is uh, one provision is there in uh, Simulink that uh, you can convert your uh, model into C code, so you can use in uh, some other software also. So first thing um, in solver is there are two kind of solvers. First are fixed step solvers, and the other is variable step solver. The variable step solver uh, are more uh, quick because it will uh, change the uh, time uh, step time as per requirement. But thing is, first thing is, if you want to convert your model into C code, if yes, then only option is for you is to go for fixed step solver because only fixed step uh, solved model can be converted into C code. So if you wanted to convert to your model into a C code, you have to go with fixed step. Or if not, then you can go with variable step solver that are more, uh, that are more efficient. So after selecting this fixed step or variable step solver, the next thing is whether your model is continuous or it has some discrete steps. If it has some discrete step. If you have selected fixed, suppose you have selected fixed uh, step solver. If he has some discrete step, then uh, for you only option is to go for the disc, uh, fixed step discrete solver. If it is variable solver, you have selected and uh, your model has some discrete uh, steps. Then in that case, you have to go for the variable step discrete solver. Uh, but now suppose. If your model can uh, has some continuous uh, continuous states, it don't have any discrete steps. So in that case, first thing you need to check is whether your model is stiff or not. So first thing is how you can check this uh, whether your uh, model is a stiff or it is normal. So first thing, this solver selection is not a direct process; it is an iterative process. First, when you start solving your model, first you have to go with auto. You should go with auto solver. So you will check. First, uh, for starting this uh, solver pen, you have to click here yeah, on model configuration parameters. Once you click on model configuration parameter, here you will get the solver options. Okay, so first uh, basic thing is go with auto solver in. Uh, Simulink is giving you option. It will automatically choose a solver for us and best uh, suitable solver for us. So first, we should go with auto solver. This is a simple pendulum equation. Here we have we have selected the auto solver. Now I am solving that. Here you can see what solver we have selected. In the uh, this corner, you can click on this. Okay, now you can solve it, solve the model. Okay, it was very fast. So here you can see in uh, auto auto solver what uh, solver it has selected for us and what uh, step size uh, simulating uh, solver has selected for us. You can save this. Yeah, it is saved. For in next time it will directly use the ODE forty five with maximum step size point four. So now next thing is. Uh, here um, our model was simple; it was not stiff, so it was uh, the solver, auto solver was able to solve this with ODE four five. But when our solver, uh, when our model is stiff, uh, which if uh, your model contains some uh, physical system, uh, physical uh, physical uh, physical block. From some sim scap, so that will induce some uh, stiffness. So in that case, what will happen? 
Uh, your this with this uh, this OD forty five is the explicit uh, solver. So this explicit solver when they are solving, your result will very very fast. It won't come under the tolerance what we have provided. So what this solver will do? It will reduce the step size, small and small and small. So it can uh, bring the result under the tolerance band. So that thing, so very small step size will take very much very long time. And it won't be able to solve it easily your model. So in that case, this uh, simulink will give you the message that you should go with uh, stiff. Uh, your model is stiff, and you should go with implicit solver. So if your model is taking too much time, you will come to know that it is stiff. So after that. So if your model is not stiff, then you can go with explicit explicit solvers. These for fixed step solvers. Explicit uh, these are the options. In uh, fixed step solver, if your model is stiff, then you have to you have only one option, OD fourteen X. If you are going with variable step solver and your model is if your model is not stiff, in that case you can go with explicit solver, OD forty five, OD twenty three, or OD one one five. This explicit solver are more accurate, but uh, if your model is stiff, if you are using blocks from some uh, physical domains, in that case your model will be stiff, and you have to use this implicit solver. While uh, selecting this implicit solver, you should go with this order: OD fifteen S two, OD twenty twenty three T. Because uh, uh, going going downwards, the accuracy is decreasing. So if OD one five is uh, able to solve, it will give the max, uh, most accurate sol sol solution. But if it is not able to solve, then you have to go with OD twenty three S and OD twenty three T. We now will see the sol option, various option in solver then. Okay, here type first main two types variable or fixed step. If you are selecting fixed step, then discrete or continuous. If it is discrete, then no other option. If it is continuous, then you have these many options. But from this, if it is stiff, then you have to go with this only fourteen x. If it is not stiff, then you can check these options. In fixed step size, you can give the step size. As the size uh, step size will decrease, the uh, result uh, accuracy will increase. Suppose if it is variable step, then if it is decrease discrete, then you don't have any other option. If it is continuous, if it is non-stiff, then you have these three first three options: forty-five, twenty-three, one, one, three. If it is stiff, then you have these four options. Uh, first thing, this OD forty five. What this indicates? OD forty five means it will use fourth order method to calculate uh, to solve your uh, differential equation. First thing, in this uh, so this all these solvers are numerical in uh, numerical solvers. It is not analytical solvers. These are the numer these solvers are using numerical methods, numerical integration methods to solve your differential equations. Uh, this uh, this are the higher order rang rangkata method. Most of you don't know the rangkata method. This uh, this specially this forty forty five was developed by this dormant prince. So this dormant name from them dormant prince method. So uh, what I was saying, forty 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 five means it is using fourth order method, fourth order numerical integration method to solve your differential equation. In using fifth order. And it is using fifth order uh, numerical integration method to check the accuracy or to calculate the error. So, in simple for solver selection, if you are if you want to convert your model into C code, first you have to go with the fixed step. In fixed step, if your uh, model contains some discrete uh, states, then you have to go. You have only one option. If it is uh, continuous, then you can go with Uh, this uh, explicit solvers, but if uh, it is uh, these solvers are not able to solve your uh, 
uh, model because if it is stiff then you have to go with only this option OD 14x and in uh, additional option you can define the size of uh, size of your uh, maximum step suppose if you are going with variable step in that case first uh, first thing is you should go with this auto solver if this auto solver is uh, not able to solve uh, and if it gives the message that if it is a stiff in auto solver mostly it is selecting OD45 if you are not satisfied with this result or if it is taking more time more time you can go with OD23 or OD113 and uh, if uh, your model is stiff then you can go with these options OD15S, OD23, OD23T and OD23TS so once you selected uh, uh, this solver you can solve uh, but if you want to make uh, your uh, result more accurate you can tailor the solver uh, by changing these additional options you can give the maximum size you can also define this minimum initial size and this is the you can give the tolerance as per your requirement this relative tolerance and absolute tolerance what are this as per their name relative and absolute as I told if you are going with uh, this method this uh, variable step solver in OD45 is it will first calculate your result uh, with for uh, a numerical method of fourth order and it will also calculate with numerical method of fifth order for comparing or for calculating the error so absolute tolerance which means that during the each time step the solver uh, calculate the state values at the end of the step and it also determines the local error or the error for that state value if that state value error is less than this absolute error your re result is good and it will go for next step if this uh, your local error or state uh, value uh, error at this particular state value is higher than absolute tolerance it is not near to zero if it is uh, your local error is near to zero in that case it will compare with this absolute tolerance but if it is beyond this absolute tolerance in that case uh, it will compare it will calculate the error from the uh, other uh, method which it is using here it is what if uh, fifth order uh, numerical method for calculate it will calculate uh, result from fifth order uh, numerical method then it um, it will compare with or fourth order method and it will calculate the relative error and if your relative error is less than this tolerance it will accept that uh, time step step size if it is not uh, coming under this tolerance it will reduce the step size or step time and it will repeat this process and the next option is the same Preservation. What is this? Uh, at each time step, uh, it can use the derivative information to improve your integral integration accuracy. But uh, in most of cases, when uh, your model is simple, it is better to dis uh, select this dis disable option because it will make it quick. If you select this uh, enable option, it will take more time. But when your uh, signal, when your model contains some signal which are varying very fastly, in that case, for improving your model's accuracy, you can select this enable all function. Okay. So these are the basic options for solver selection. With this option, you can solve. You can select the proper solver. Uh, so this is that's it for uh, this video. In next video, I will explain more about this. Uh, solvers more about this explicit uh, uh, solvers implicit solvers and stiffness okay thank you guys